Welcome to the Audi Garage. In this episode of the V5V8 project, we're going to swap the subframe in our car to make sure we have the best and easiest mounting solution for our V8. So stay tuned. So now I have the engine trans and the complete subframe on the ground. Um, later this evening, I'm going to roll it outside, split it up, uh, and then start the V6 subframe swap. One surprising thing that I found is the tie rod uh, mounting position on the spindle is clean cracked off. These are the steel uprights, so uh, it's almost even more impressive, I'd say. So because of this damage, I'm just going to go ahead and swap my entire assembly that I have outside. And uh, we are getting rid of the race lands, like I said before, and just putting in the red sport suspension. Um, gives a little bit nicer ride, not as quite as low, but uh, the ride quality is way, way better. So yesterday I got the motor and trans split apart and removed from the subframe. So the subframe in front of us is the 1.8 subframe. Uh, you can see on the four cylinder cars the trans mounts are different than the V6 subframes uh, that come in the V5s. So in the 1.8 subframe you can see that this mount down here is different than the standard two bolt mount uh, found on the passenger side. So we are just going to swap the entire subframe and uh, we'll get it back into the car and get the chassis rolling again. So this subframe was from a B5 that it actually had a V8 swapped into it already uh, by done by a shop which uh, did some uh, questionable things I guess I'd say. Uh, so another interesting thing I found today is for the motor mounts I guess they wanted to space up the motor a little bit higher for clearance and they seem to have just stuffed an extra large nut in there to prop the engine mount up. Um, unfortunately, while well, that may have worked for that side, this side is completely wrecked. The uh, bottom of the motor mount pulled right through and uh, the nuts now inside of the motor mount and it is completely loose. So uh, word of advice, don't use a nut. If you have to do this, use some sort of larger washer to spread out the load. As you can see behind me, we got the subframe swapped and the chassis rolling again. Of course it wasn't that easy though. If you couldn't tell from that last time lapse, there was a lot of bolts frozen in the control arm bushings. I ended up having to combine various parts and spindles and control arms from both subframe setups to create the one that we have bolted in there now. I want to thank you guys for staying till the end of the video. Make sure to check out our website, our Facebook, and our Instagram for updates in between videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when the next video comes out. See you guys soon.